Hey guys, Metal Jesus here. Now many of you know that the Analog Mega SG is an amazing clone system, but at $190, some of you are on the fence. As a matter of fact, many of you have reached out to me wondering, you know, is a potato a viable alternative to the Mega SG? We're gonna find out. All right, guys, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Mega SG versus a potato. And I picked out a couple games here. We're gonna start with Lotus 2. That's a racing game from Electronic Arts. So here is Lotus 2 running on a potato. And as you can see, it does not age well. This game does not look great, but this is what we played back in the day. This was the best that it could do. And then here is Lotus 2 running on the Mega SG. Again, keep in mind, same cartridge, same cables, same Elgato game capture. All I've done is just change the systems and it looks pretty amazing to me. We're gonna go back and forth here between the footage, but just keep in mind, I know this is YouTube and it's really hard to tell you know, little details, but trust me, when you're looking at these side by side on your big HD television, you can totally tell the difference. It's night and day. Now I noticed some of you were kind of concerned about if there is a death grip on your cartridges when using a potato. And as you can see here, that is absolutely not the case. In fact, it's kind of the opposite. It's really tough to kind of get that cartridge in there. You have to push really, really hard. But hooking up your cables is actually really easy on a potato because you can plug your power and your HDMI out pretty much wherever you want. That's a really nice feature. Now, another thing that I noticed pretty quickly with the potato is that when it's plugged in, it starts to get a little bit warm and it starts to smell. So I don't know if it's my particular potato or what, if they're all like that, but just be aware that I guess ventilation or something to do with the manufacturing with the potato, it, it could potentially catch on fire. Now let's go ahead and do a side by side. This is Robocop versus Terminator. And on the left you have the potato, that's of course what we are all used to playing back in the day. And on the right is the Mega SG. Again, same cartridge, same cables and everything. It's just night and day difference. I have to say, I really love the texture work on the Mega SG. I mean, I don't know what's doing there, if it's upscaling or what, maybe it's adding frames. It's, it's astounding what they're able to pull off with that device. It was at this point I started thinking about my potato being first gen and maybe there was an upgrade available, maybe there's some DLC I could get. So I decided to go back to the store where I bought it and see if there is something that I can upgrade to. Now they did have some DLC and it was only $4.99 so I was kind of tempted but honestly that cheese is fake so I passed on that. But they did have the pro potato which is twice baked and a bunch of good stuff on it so I picked that one up. So which one do I recommend? Well, I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm hungover an awful lot, and so having a potato in my stomach kind of keeps me from puking a lot. So I gotta go with the potato. As a matter of fact, I was gonna show you the Potato Pro that I picked up, but I got hungry on the way home and I ate it. But I'd love to know what you guys recommend. And also, what do you think of my hair? Let me know down in the comments below. All right guys, thank you very much. At the end here, I do wanna mention that I am in no way associated with potato farmers. Uh, I'm not a potato farmer myself. I'm just a big fan of them. I eat them a lot and honestly, I'm hoping this video doesn't raise the price of potatoes worldwide because that would really suck. Have a great day.